Good morning. Just gonna show you what has happened after pruning this awesome, wonderful pomegranate. I guess I could have just said wonderful pomegranate, not awesome, wonderful. Maybe too many descriptive words. All right, so after pruning it, I have, I counted, I have about 100 or 120, somewhere around there, kind of didn't really count all the way, of this fruit. And if you look at how many clusters are in here, I mean, five just on this one branch here, this guy burst open, and I'm fine with that because um, the fruit is really not that good tasting right now because it's too early, but uh, to allow insects and other animals to be able to enjoy it because I am totally fine with sharing just as long as I get some of the fruit. You know, I'm kind of selfish that way. But here, I mean, you can just look at how many fruit are on this thing. Um, getting lots of good growth. The other downside to pruning is that I got a lot of new shoots that come in here. So almost every week I have to come in and take out those shoots so that the energy goes into growing out here and into the fruit. But look at that, wonderful. I mean, that this is so much fruit. So does pruning help out your pomegranate? You better believe your britches it does. Is it, these three are like the size of my hand already. They're not supposed to even be ripe until um, September, late September, early October. If I come over here to this side, look at all of that. Man, alive. I mean, this whole entire branch is probably going to break. Because there, there's 12, 12 wonderful pomegranates on this thing already. All right, I'm even getting some more fruit or flowers that are coming on. So it, I mean, this is going to still try to produce throughout the entire summer, but lots and lots of fruit. The bush is looking pretty darn healthy. Here, I'll pull back a little bit more. It's large and in charge. It's about uh, at the tallest point up here, that is about eight feet. So I, I've trimmed it to about six feet high because I like to maintain the size of them a little bit more. Let's go look at the other one that I pruned. Okay, this is the Utah Sweet. And uh, this year we had the freeze and it killed almost the entire portion of, of this pomegranate except for this little area right here. And the area that it didn't kill, look at what happened. I have uh, six fruit that are growing on the area that did not get frozen and a couple more flowers that are still coming out and budding. More flowers off on this side. Uh, but because of that freeze, I have gotten a lot of growth at the bottom here that I've been trying to maintain and trim out. But... I thought I'd show a video on the progress and if you prune and it survives a very late frost, then you will get a lot of fruit. Um, I am having a hard time determining if it is growing on first year growth. It doesn't look like it's first year growth. Some of these guys have thicker branches that are coming down and coming out here, but then there are some fruit, especially on the wonderful that look like it is actually on first year growth, especially this flower right here. That is just coming off of first year growth. Um, but this, this thick trunk area has been here for a couple years. So who knows, maybe it's first year growth, maybe it's second year growth. Um, but I know that if you prune, not all of it, but you prune specific key points, you will get a lot of fruit. Okay, I hope that video helps out a lot and prune your pomegranates for Pete's sake. Leave any comments or questions below. Beyond that, have a stellar day and we will catch you at the next one.